We have got to get going on this game like you wouldn't believe. Life has been hitting hard lately. New shift at work. Been looking at houses. Current house is falling apart. There's no excuse. You entered into the SGV Summer Game Jam 2020. You can't let a little thing like life get in your way. All right, so we went over a lot of uh, didactic work in the last episode. We're just going to go ahead and get straight into the actual development now. We've been doing bits and pieces here and there, and I've certainly been doing a few things off camera, but nothing since the last video. Let's work on the B2 interior, and we need to get crafting done for the interior. So that is our mechanic. That is what we need to do. Now that's that's going to mean a couple different things. We're not just going to start throwing things together and calling that crafting. That will come, but that's not here yet. First, let's kind of get a good idea of where we are right here. Let's look at these map options, okay? We want to be in first person view and we want to disable camera switching. We want. Ooh. Skybox. Skybox is just black. Not really. I say nothing. That actually, can we do a unicolor that's black? Might be a better idea. Okay, let's just go ahead and test that. Because, and we're going to click play test with the middle mouse button so that we skip the title screen. Um, I'm thinking that there's some kind of practical way to have ceilings. I don't know what that is. And it's pretty clear that we're not going to get ceilings. Uh, in this, well, it is so hard to ascertain. I mean, can I give the illusion that there are ceilings? I don't know. I need to get rid of, like, the architecture, though. So. No, no, I, I want to quit. I want to exit. Yes, sir. Yes, go away. So, why don't we do like, a, uh, first of all, I think I would rather have more of a grayish color. And then we want to, eh, that's a little too light. We want a dark gray. What right about there I ought to do it because that seems to match ship. Whoa, or not. It doesn't match the ship. Not as dark as I want it. We'll do that, huh? That, that should be fine. That should be fine. Alright, I need to wipe out these offending tall column architecture. Guys, where are they? I've got three of them, looks like. See that okay? We're gonna boop, boop. We're just gonna click on them. And we're gonna boop, boop, and come down. As they say in Japan, the tall nail gets hammered down, right? Right. That's got nothing to do with game development, but, you know, it's okay. Okay. What kind of objects can we put in here? Mm, we've got some Japanese buildings. I'm not going to be using those. I need modern, 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 modern. Mm, you know what? 
G style, what do we got for G style anyway? We have modern buildings, we have trash receptacles, we have potted plants. We have a lot of things that are great for cities, but nothing for my nothing for my game. Not in the G style. We've got some computer screens, but they're a little bit on the nose as far as technology. Um, and then the object file stuff is, and then we've got bathrooms, and these guys aren't going to really need, I'm not going to need to detail the bathrooms in this. Um, we just want some wreckage, and I don't think we have wreckage proper. So, you know what? We will actually worry about something a little bit different. Let's go into edit the game data. And let's get my starting party edited. Let's change Scion. No longer going to be Scion. The heck. He is now going to be Thalo Blue. Gonna have no graphic. And your name's not gonna be Scion. <laughs> it's gonna be Thalo. Um Thalo or Pathalo? Which one was it? Pathalo. And I need to look up some military ranks. Uh, so we're going to do that real quick. Because I don't know military ranks, and I want to utilize the titles. Which one of these do I want to adopt? I guess if you're in space, if you've watched The Martian, which is a great movie, uh, Brad Pitt says that space basically should conform to maritime laws. So we'll go to, uh, we want Navy or Marine Corps. Take a look. Lance Corporal, team, class sergeant, staff sergeant, chief petty officer, uh, gunnery sergeant, master sergeant. <laughs> Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps, and Warrant Officers. Ah, here we go. Officers. Commissioned ranks are the highest in the military. These hold presidential commissions and are confirmed at their ranks by the Senate. So, we're not following uh, the conventions uh, politics-wise, but like... Second Lieutenant, Captain, Major, Lieutenant, Colonel, Colonel. And then we won't go up to that far up. Mm, I don't know. I'm undecided. You're going to be kind of low on the list, though. Might just be a private. Might just be a private. Oh, no. Because it says that E3, E1 through E3 are usually in some kind of training status. If we go, uh... Corporal, I'm going to have to think on it. I'm going to have to think on it. i got to try not to waste too much time on little things like that. I think I'll just, uh, just going to have to be a member of the team. So for now, well, okay, so I hit enter, and it actually... It just said find the whole thing. If I shift enter, it does the same thing. What if I do alt enter? Want a new line? No, we don't do new lines. We do not do new lines. So, stylize this a little bit. That'll work. 
Okay, we uh, we are going to have no increases in any level whatsoever because we're not going to level up in this game. We're not going to have conventional. Hmm. Stats, nor stat growth. And your hit points, I think. We're going to put three. We're going to do that for a reason that I don't know yet. Um, starting equipment. We're going to need to change these guys for sure. That modification animation. I love so much that you can edit the damage formulas for these things. That's not something that I think I was aware of actually. I don't I don't think I was aware you could edit the damage formulas. You know, and you've probably been able to do that since the dawn of time, but wow. You can actually go from current HP, so you could div you could actually like subtract your current HP from the enemy's current HP with certain weapons. That's awesome. That is all. I've learned something new. I've learned something new. Uh, we're gonna cancel. We mm, we don't want to keep certain things here. And then certain things we do just to be iconic. You know? Like for example, we know that our our people need masks. They need special masks to be able to breathe in the atmosphere. And I'd like to keep that convention. We'll go and we'll edit, we'll put the items in after we have devised what those items should be. Um, but for now, we're going to make it to where they have nothing because you're waking up out of stasis. So you got, you got no reason to have anything, not even a knife. Okay. So you got nothing. What do you got? You got nothing. All right. We'll just say, okay. And we'll put another one. We're going to have uh, mm, Halo Blue is the only character. Is that what I'm getting out of that? We need another character. We need to make another character. Why are you called Scion still? Like, I've changed you and you're still called Scion. I don't appreciate that. All right, the other one is going to be Thalo Green, um, and the reason is I'm allowing you to select one of two characters at the outset of the game. You'll get a little bit of intro that, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it in time for the demo, but for the full game you'll get a little bit of intro that allows you to kind of get to know the characters a little bit, and you can select which one of these two you feel is more appropriate for this mission. Now, the G-Style guys... I'm gonna have to go with this one for my base, I think, because his hair is a little bit more tousled. And... But I don't like the collared shirt, so I'm gonna go with this one. And that is gonna be Thalo Green. And we're gonna give him an identical Thalo. And then what did I do with uh, with her? I'll just copy that actually. Make things a lot easy, easy business. The only thing we have to change is that we're going to change his texture file to make him green. Halo green is very dark, uh, and we just we basically want. Why didn't I just copy her? Then I could have had all the same stats and everything. 
Uncheck that. Skills. Move the skill. We don't want any skills at all. Command. Mm. We're going to remove the commands just to see if that take one step forward when it moves. If you put a check mark on it, wait, what? This character will take one step forward when it's come turns during 3D battles. Oh, now I've always, I've never liked that very much. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's actually delete Halo Green. Or copy Halo Blue. Oh, and it took her name now, so that's good. Just paste it in. Ah, crap. Don't do that. I'm going to change you. I don't like that error. We're just going to change a couple of things and see if I can get away with saving kind of after the fact. Continue, please. Apply. OK. All right, so if I save the file now. What about if I test play? The reason that I'm giving you both characters is because all party character battle commands are empty. I know. Fine. You're saying I have to have one. You're saying I have to have a battle command. That is your problem. They want that battle command. Really, really want that battle command. Hello? Mm, I don't like that. Come on. Edit the game data. Let me in there. Please let me in. Ah, come on. Mm, don't overwrite. Data. Okay, so welcome back to my desktop. Did I give an intro? Did I give an intro? Good morning, everybody. I'm a Malcolm Ash, and this is Let's Make a Game in Smile Game Builder for the Smile Game Builder 2020 Game Jam. Summer. Summer. This is Project Spectrum. Oh boy. <laughs> 